What is going on everyone and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can save the battery on your Apple Watch, whatever series you have, whatever version you have, you will be able to use these methods or tricks in order to save your battery. So let's begin with this video right now. Okay, so when it comes to the battery and the battery life of an Apple Watch, you probably know that everything what you do with your device is going to take more or less from the battery. If you, whatever, whatever you do, if you open up an app, you will need to have a battery that is going to fuel that action and fuel that app. So if you just want to save the Apple Watch battery completely, just don't use it, obviously. And if you just want to have it by you to like show you the time, but you don't want to do anything with it, you can, of course, open up um, the battery section and simply swipe to get the power reserve mode and that will just make the Apple Watch completely unusable besides that time. It will only show you the time and you can still turn it on if you just want to access some features, but this is the most common thing and the first thing that you want to do in case you see that you only have like 5% of the battery left. But if you just want to use the Apple Watch normally but still save some battery life, like here, there are some important things that you can perform. So first, gra grab your iPhone that is paired to your Apple Watch, open up the Watch app and navigate to the section where you can see the notifications here, you're gonna click on that and disable the notifications for those apps that you don't really care about and only bother you. And this is actually a very great method to save some battery life. I'm not sure if you will be able to feel it in everyday usage, but it really does make a difference because, you know, every time you get a notification on your Apple Watch, it just needs internet connection and it just pairs and like uses Bluetooth to gather that information from your iPhone. It uses the haptic feedback to let you know that something is happening on your wrist. And if you have a sound turned on, it will also make a sound to let you know about it. It lights up the display and everything. All of those actions just take up battery, obviously. And if you don't care about certain apps and certain notifications, just turn them off and you can turn them off app by app. And by the way, if this is your first visit on this channel and if you don't want to miss the next content and the next videos in which I talk about Apple products, make sure you smash the subscribe button as hard as you can. Okay, so you will need to disable only those notifications that you don't really care about. For the reason why most of us just wear the Apple Watch is the extended notification on your wrist. So I guess that you should keep them, but only those that you really give or care about. The next tip that I would like to give you is to simply use a watch face which only has like dark and black colors in it because as you know the Apple Watch uses or has an OLED display which every time you see a black part of the display the pixels are turned off and the less pixels you use the less battery it actually takes. So I would recommend you using the watch face, which doesn't have too many things going on within it. Like obviously I wouldn't recommend you getting or using the Toy Story watch face, even though it looks really cool, but there are plenty of things happening every time you take a look at it. There is just plays like a one video or it, it just always happens something on that display. And I don't really think that it, this is something that is going to save you a lot of battery. And if you want to have some colors on your display, like on your watch face, then yellow color is rumored to take the least amount of battery. I don't know, that's just a rumor and there is no backup or there is just, I don't know, nobody ever proved that, that this is the true or that this is the case. But one thing that I just really hate is this passcode. I would just turn it off immediately, but I use it because I need to have like Apple Pay always ready. So yeah, this is completely by the way. But another method how you can save the battery life on your Apple Watch is by turning off the sounds. Because no matter what you do, every time you just you know, you get a notification that is a basic thing, but even other tasks also make sound. And every time the Apple Watch needs to use the, the, the speaker on the side of it, it will always need to take a little bit of the battery. And obviously we don't have a large battery in this tiny wrist device. Okay, so I always keep it like this just because of the purposes that I just don't want the, the Apple Watch to make any sounds. But if you swipe up, you can turn it on or keep it turned off just like I do. Another great way to maintain the battery life on uh, the Apple Watch is by using the low brightness settings 
on your Apple Watch. Unfortunately, as you probably know, the Apple Watch has a built-in auto brightness section that you're not able to turn off no matter what you do because you don't find it in the test settings. But what you can find is the classic brightness settings. So if you find the settings app and if you scroll down to the general, you don't even have to open it up. You can see that we have the, the, the brightness and text size. You can see that I keep it to the lowest point. There are actually only three settings that you can choose from, but I always like to keep it on the lowest one, but keep in mind that no matter what you do, no matter what you set it to, every time you're going to be in a bright environment, the Apple Watch is going to light up because it uses an auto brightness setting and the auto brightness sensors are simply put or hidden behind the display so you don't really have any control over it. Okay, so I guess that this would be it. I obviously know that there are many other things that you can do in order to keep and maintain your battery life. I just wanted to give you these things and if you want to see more content like this, perhaps I will also make another series with other things that you can do to save some battery life on your watch then smash the subscribe button just make sure you you are subscribed to it that way you never miss anything and also hit the like button to let me know that you liked it and for more content like i said stay tuned and I'll see you guys in the next videos peace out